it's Tuesday. I thought it was Wednesday morning. I'm just in the yard now. Lads are going to wash that sand in a minute. I kind of dress smart underneath my boiler suit. Got an AHDB thing in a few hours in Manchester. So I'm going to try and stay clean and just see where everyone's up to before I get going. Lads are up here now. They've put a little division in this end bit, which will be a tap room so they can put a toilet in it. Sparks here putting all the conduit up. This stable is taking all the old fittings down. It's all been painted black at the bottom, white at the top. Um, this one here, the doors are going on. Started painting that as well. Yeah, it's starting to come together. They're going to wash the sand now, bring that back up, level that out. All the conduit again going along here. Um, what do you reckon? The doors should be all green or should they have black hinges and black frames? I think all green. That just needs Ian to move his stuff out and then it's ready. Just showing Martin round Wellbrook now. Yeah, become a shepherd with my little <laughs> hands. <laughs> and... Um, Man has got the sheep in. They look like they can climb over the gate though, she's used that much straw. Water the, type tank as well. The maternity ward. Yeah. Uh, someone going in there as well. Joe's putting the sand in the, in the wash there and it's dropped through that vibrating conveyor. And then this now is the clean sand with no bits of debris in it. It sort of splits into two different grades, fine sand and soft sand. This is all the bits of grass and weeds, it's just cleaned out of it. Two dump trailers are here ready to take the sand back. This this is obviously our one and then this is the one that we've had on demo. I don't know whether they've forgotten about it because it's still here, so we had a go of it. Nick's had a go of it. Anyway, it's uh, ideal for moving sand, so we'll be able to back it in and layer it out the back of it. So this is here ready now to take it back to Brookhouse. I was gonna say next stop Manchester, but next stop there. Next stop workshop. The workshop, slow tire, 29. We'll top the pressure up before we set off. And we'll get to um, Deansgate Hilton in Manchester, I think the, the AHDB meeting's at. Is it working? Can't get out now, I'll get my pants dirty. Don't be here click, don't you? That one doesn't seem to click. I thought it was the back one, wasn't it? No, it's the front. Oh, it's just doing well let go and it should tell you. Whoa. What are you doing that? Eight, that can't be right. Hmm. 
Because we've got water in the cookie. See what it says on the dash. Oh, it's gone off. Menu. Info. Oh, I don't know what I've done here. Oops. Don't know what I've done there, but it looks harder than it was. I nearly wrote that field off, you know, but it does look quite green now, other than where the drains, eh, the ditch tips over. what's going on here but that's just had some flashing lights on it and there's no cars behind it hope there's not been a smash still nothing coming down the motorway in the other direction and the road's gone red on there and we found out why the airline was acting up because it wasn't actually going in the tyre it was just pressurising the gauge hose Oh, there must have been some sort of accident and they're just sweeping it all up now. It's going to be some tail back here now. That'll explain why the road to the motorway was busy because everyone's having to come off and go round the rural roads. That is some tail back. I bet you that's all the way to Manchester. Mile up the road, still loads. Oh, there's a GCB going to the docks. Random fact the UK produces enough wheat if you put it on trucks like that and park them bumper to bumper. They'd stretch from John O'Groats to Moscow and back every year. And if you just look at that tailback, that is some trucks and that is some wheat grown, isn't it? Oh, well, that's the end of the tailback. <laughs> it must have been four mile. I think we should have come in the Yaris. I just done what that guy's done, just took up two spaces. Is that, is that even legal? I think it's bad parking that, try parking that Rolls Royce. It's about eight foot longer than a car. In the hotel in Birmingham after the Agrileader conference, that does not even look real, that sunset and that skyline, but it is. There is no birthday bumper today, but there's a birthday backdrop. So we've got John Goff is 68, Jack Ashley is 10, Vivian Phillips, big 7.5, Maisie Gale is 11, she was yesterday, so sorry we got it wrong yesterday, but we'll blame Sammy for that. Mark Pascoe, 65, Jack Foote is 13, and Charlotte McGinley is on it, and also Annabelle Wade. So that is it on the uh, a skyscraper window in Manchester. Look at that sunset though, it's amazing. I know I've just showed you it, but it's amazing. So happy birthday, everyone on the window and anyone else whose birthday it is today. Question today, today's quiz question. Do I just leave that on so that people are thinking, why is this guy written random things on the window or everyone on the street can see backwards mirrored or do we just wipe it off? Let me know in the comments and I'll do it in the morning. Anyway, quick change now off to, uh, I think it's the football museum because we're not actually eating in the hotel, we're eating 10 minutes up the road. So we're onto that, yeah. But no, AHDB uh, Agri Leader um, Forum, is it? Is it Forum? It's got a forum. No, yeah, Agri Leader Forum, Farming Network. Yeah, um, take home message from today was your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you've got a sort of a good vibe, then the people around you will be good people is what they were trying to say today. So it's really good. It's all about networking. Um, bit of a slow start because it didn't start till after dinner. And obviously we have to travel up this morning. Luckily we were going the right way on the motorway. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I'll see you all tomorrow. If you want to watch a little bit more, you can see a bit of an interview with uh, Sammy, Lucky Day, that I'll upload later on, just as a standalone video because people like a bit of a a cab chat type thing. Anyway, see you tomorrow.